the first part of the NASCAR the Game Inside the Line Custom Season Short Track Swing today will be kick off at the smallest racetrack on the NASCAR circuit, Martinsville Speedway in Ridgeway, Virginia, for the running of the Goodies Fast Relief 500. Tuesday at Texas ended in a thrilling finish between Denny Hamlin, Dylan Merwitt, and Dale Hart Jr. on a late caution that sent the race into overtime as Denny Hamlin would pull off a hard-charging Dylan Merway to secure his first win of the year and add his name to the chase grid, the fifth driver to do so. The furthest we've gone into a season, we've had 16 different winners at one point before a repeat winner hit won a race. So far, we've had Casey Kane winning at Daytona. Matt, wait. Check the schedule. Casey Kane won Daytona. His one Daytona. Won the 500. Uh, Carl Edwards won at Vegas. Matt Kenseth won at California. Dylan Murray won at Phoenix. And Denny Hamlin won at Texas this past Tuesday. So you see the paint scheme today. I'm driving a white GoDaddy Chevrolet, or a yellow GoDaddy Chevrolet. Homer Simpson yellow. Today. Let's go qualify. Here at Martinsville, it is one of the smallest, the smallest short track race in the circuit. And let's take you around for a couple laps. Okay, so in the concrete, you want to keep that car as glued to the bottom as you possibly can. The tighter, the better. And then you want, once you come off turn two, you let the car drift out towards the wall before diving right back in again. Keep that car on the white line. Do not get onto the curb or you'll bounce up the track into another car. See what our starting lineup will look like so far. For one lap, we are P14. Kind of locked the tires up there. Really messed up the lap in three. Coming off of turn four. On the pole. Wow. Big improvement there between lap one and two. As we look at our starting lineup, starting out front, we have Dylan Merwet and Denny Hamlin. Starting in row two, we have Kevin Harvick and Jimmy Johnson. Starting in row three, we have the master of Martinsville and Martin Truex Jr. Row four finds Matt Kenseth and Kyle Busch. And rounding out the top ten starting spots, we have Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Tony Stewart. Other... Things to note, Ricky Stenhouse rolls off 17th. We got Clint Boyer starting back in 23rd. Danica Patrick starting 29th. Marcus Ambrose with a poor qualifying run today. He'll start 31st. And there's the final three spots. Time to go racing. Denny Hamlin, Dilmeroy, bring him down. 100 laps at Martinsville. Five bonus points for Dylan Merway as he be, will lead the first lap. As he lets the car roll into turn three. Powers off, Kevin Harvick. He had a tough go yet last on Tuesday at Texas. See how he performs here. Martinsville, so far he's moved his way up to second. He is the 2011 winner of the spring race.
as Dilmerwin continues to pull away. You can go pretty far on field here unless, you know, even with if you have a bunch of, with all the cautions that I'm going to, that are probably going to fall today from cars getting into each other. You can go pretty far. You see the average in the, typically in this race, you go, typically you guys go 60 laps on fuel. Here, you obviously cut that in half because you're running a shorter race compared to running 500 laps in real life. Dylan Murray continues to pull away from Kevin Harvick a little over three seconds this time. That's the benefits of being out front in clean air is you let the car cool off. And you punch it out of four. Then you come back. Lead another lap. Here at Martinsville as we continue, Dylan Merway continues to pull away from Kevin Harvick. Eight laps completes. That time as Dylan Murray continues to add his lead, drives in and drives off. Look at how smooth he is. And he's already catching Joe Nemechek in 43rd. Put a couple cars a lap down. A little bit of contact with Scott Speed off the corner. Already had a couple cars use each other up on that initial start, including the 11 and Benny Hamlin. Obviously, he was ran high in turn two. Shuffled him back several spots. Michael McDowell crossing under the 25 to try to get his lap back. He will fail. Same with Casey Mears and Landon Castle, much to hit the latter's efforts to do so. I'm going to put David Gilland and Eric Amarillo lap down. So far, he's ran 12 laps on the green today. And the further in you go, especially in all this traffic, you're going to see a lot of possibly bent sheet metal is the frustration from drivers that are trying to stay on the lead lap and drivers trying to fight, just fight to survive at this place. Starts to mount. People will start put to pushing, get to pushing. People will start get to shoving, and people will start get to crashing. You can add Danica Patrick to the list of cars a lap down. Crossing her Ambrose. Whoa. Okay. Reed Smith, David Strenning go a lap down. Again, this will probably be a big issue if cars merging off the racetrack and into the lead group, especially with the way that some of these races have been. We already had a couple accidents last week. Involving the 78 of Regan Smith at Tex or Tuesday at Texas. I'm sorry, Tuesday at Texas, we had a couple accidents with Regan Smith. And even going back to last Saturday at Phoenix with Hornish and Castle. Dylan Roy continues to put some drivers a lap down. He's already put Almost 20 cars, close to 20 cars a lap down in a span of 17 laps. 
That 25 is flying. Kind of wearing out the right sides, though, but he is flying. Joey Logano moving out of the way for the 25. Not a lot of uh, movement up front. Uh, a lot of drivers being shuffled around. Clint Boyer gained three spots. Marcus Ambrose gained two with their poor starting efforts. And a whole host of cars up front. Norway moving the 42 out of the way. Using him up. Okay. Got a couple cars in the wall. Posh was out. Juan Montoya and Jeff Burton get together off turn four. Ooh, big hit on the inside. With those two cars. We're going to need tires. Jeff Burton gets loose, slams into Montoya, and caution. That's a tape. Cars come down here, road, obviously. With the amount of people I lapped, I really don't think I'd be losing that much time. Here with the Surly Yellow running uh, 20 laps in this race. Or we were working lap 21. Dill Norway, Kevin Harvick, the top two, they came down to it road for this yellow. Benny Hamlin, outside pole sitter. A lot of cars are a lot now. Ooh, a little uh, aggressive with Jeff Gordon on that start. A few drivers did take the wave around, but uh, there's a lot of people that didn't. They pit with the lap down cars. Jimmy Johnson and last week's winner, Denny Hamlin, were the first drivers to take two tires. Brad Keselowski, Car Ricky Stenhouse, and Tony Stewart are on the front row. They did not pick. Ooh, three wide there. Stenhouse way out of the group. Johnson getting used up as well. Uh, try to run Stenhouse out in the marbles for fourth. Kozlowski leads. Dylan Merle gets a lot of power down to that car. Runs Stroop wide. Hamlin crosses low, takes a couple spots. Kozlowski, Hamlin, Merle, and Stewart, the top four. The field continues to fight. I mean, they were getting close. Probably would have been smart to take a splash of fuel anyway. Dylan Murray moves to second. And you see the two of Keselowski on the outside able to get some momentum down. Take the lead off two. And do just that. Continues to lead. Doing, 
add his stats. A little over 1.3 seconds now and growing pretty fast. And shrinking a little bit. And I got the curve there. Dylan Murray moving right back to the front. Because last we led a couple laps. So far has been the Dylan Murray show here at Martinsville. Let's go, Let's go. Crank it up, shall we? Kozlowski maybe trying to challenge for the lead, maybe? Nope. So far, compared to the last green flag run, it's been a lot of seesaw between Dylan Merway in the 25, Kozlowski in the 2. Quite a bit of seesaw as well. Seems like Keselowski would close in as him and Stewart are getting ready to pit. Unclear what this might mean here. Maybe green flag stops could be coming up. They've uh, they did stay out under that last yellow. Another car coming onto the track it is Stenhouse in the six. And to. Uh, Negotiate his way around that, our way around him. into the six of Stenhouse as it looks like a few more cars are coming down. Tony Stewart thought he was. He came back onto the racetrack. As the way, it's, the way it stands with cars merging, coming in, coming out of pit road, there very well could be an accident possibly between some cars as they try to blend onto the racetrack. See where it looks like the 26 of of the 34 David Reagan coming into pit lane. Oh, bit of a moment there with Robbie Gordon. Trying to have muscles on the outside. Bill Murray trying to muscle Josh Wise out of the way. Gets rid of him. You can see them, definitely see the frustration. Leader, you're, you got a much faster car, you're in lap traffic, somebody's just hanging on your door. It's frustrating. You know, somebody just sitting, hitting, hanging. They're not even in your way. Got Babani leaving pit road. We're going to go under Juan Pablo Montoya. A little bit of a three wide tight situation with a couple lap cars. Nudge the 39 Newman. As we have approached lap, we have completed 40 laps today. This one, a race that has been at one caution so far. And a 
slide to Lincoln Castle. In the 83, the pink smoothie car. Going to put him a lap down as Dylan Merway continues to pull away. Gap Nanny Hamlin by almost close to eight seconds now. Uh, see Dylan Merway run the 33 of Austin Dillon. Put him lap down. Add a couple more cars to that list. Dylan Merway moving the 13 mirrors up the track, maybe. Laps continue to click off. Dill Murray continuing to pull away, gapping Denny Hamlin by about 11 seconds over between him and a bunch of lap traffic for slower cars. Confusion there. Bill Merway going to cross into Trevor Bain. There's the 10 of Danica Patrick and the 27 of Paul Menard. They are for, not for position. In fact, with the way Dylan Murray's been driving, they probably won't need to be position for position as Dylan Murray's going to drive by them both. There's a whole line of cars. Yeah, that right front's screaming for where. Merrill can get the pit. Okay, let's get this stuff up. Hamlin getting caught in behind some traffic as well, possibly, as he tries to negotiate, and he will close right in. Two tires. So far, we're caution free up to this point. By the way, Dylan Merwin pitting for two tires. Hopefully, that see if that'll cause some floodgates for cars coming to pit road. I just did two tires, y'all. Oh! Dylan Murray with a flat tire. A little slow down here. And Stenhouse gets turned around. Yellow's out. Cars try to miss him. See who else gets in the party. Oof, that's a hit. Bobby Labonte nips him twice. Robbie Gordon as well. You need to have a lot of cars coming in pit lane. So, four tires and fuel for the five is I think a lot of cars are going to have to take the wave around. The wear got so bad riding around that it just gave way.
as cars continue to move the way around. Eddie Hamlin is your leader for this restart. Newman forces it in there three wide. A little sketchy with Truex. 56. Bill Murray bull rushing his way through. Moore banging the three. Newman up the track. Four wide almost. Everybody thought better of it. Junior way up the track. Edwards trying to go up the track as well. Top five stands as of right now. Benny Hamlin, Matt Kenseth, Jimmy Johnson, Kyle Bush, and Kevin Harvick. Top five, Jeff Gordon, Dylan Murray, Carl Edwards, Dale Jr., and Martin Truex will round out the top ten. Only two caution flags in the first 55 laps of this race. Whoa, going way up the track, losing all three of those spots that he just gained. Clear. They're three wide almost. Bush backs out of it. Gordon gets into Harvick, fighting for four, and takes fourth out of all this. And Gordon comes back in turn one. Banging into Harvick there for a spot. Just using everybody up right now. Oh, Kyle Bush even getting a little physical as well. Fourth or sixth. And Dylan Murray trying to get it in. Edwards gets the brakes. It's in. Dylan Murray giving Edwards a, a Bush a couple shots. Out to the back. Uh, Bush driving a Snickers themed car. Delmore trying to maybe nudge Kyle Bush, putting the bumper to him for, for his spot. Run him high, way up the track. And Carl Edwards is around. Caution's out. And more. More people get in. But Dylan Merway and Carl Edwards get together. And I don't think they made the corner. And I don't really think Kyle Bush is going to be too happy about that. So let's see. Third caution of the day. And just a reminder, uh, next week we will have Bristol Tuesday and next Saturday night at 9 Eastern, we will have the first night race of the NASCAR and Sunline Custom Season at Richmond. Again, they'll be at 9 Eastern. Bristol will be next Tuesday at 1 Eastern, followed by Talladega the Tuesday after that at 1 Eastern, followed Sorry, at noon, noon Eastern. And then Darlington will be at 1 Eastern as Kyle Bush brings out the fourth caution. Bill Murray and Carl Edwards fighting for spots there. Burton, oh, wow. Burton sent him. <laughs> and Bill Murray swiped at Edwards. The frustration between the 25 and the 99. On this start. Here we go. Another restart. Dylan Murray coming right back. Can he get third? Going to cross under Hornish for a spot. 
Johnson somehow making the outside lane work. Going wide, three wide. Burton, four wide almost. And everything seems to be sorted out. So Murray gets by Hornish on the outside. And uh, charge it in deep right on the back bumper of Jeff Burton. Burton goes up into the outside lane, and that's an average car at Martinsville. Incredibly beat up. Dylan Murray trying to pass Johnson in the 48. Ooh, okay. Hits the curb there. And he'll get the spot off two. And see what Dylan Murray does about Hamlin. And Dylan, oh, he's there. He got his attention on the straightaway. I'll say this. He did get his attention. Nudging him around. Got a couple cars on pit road. I think we may see some more joining here in the next few laps. Seemed like it was the Dylan Murray show. Then Keselowski led a couple laps during green flag stops. And then Denny Hamlin has been in control pretty much the rest of the race. That's this race up to this point. 30 laps left in this race. Name check and wise coming out of the pits. Obviously keeping there six feet because uh, Josh Wise needs to put on his mask. You check blends in line. Josh Wise does the same. Dylan Roy trying to take a shot at Denny Hamlin, maybe. Or will Dylan drop back, maybe save his stuff Up for a late run at the finish? Because that's what pretty much all these races have been this season. A lot of green flag racing, a few crashes, a late battle at the finish. S several green white checkers. Got a, couple, got a car on pit road. There are several more. Scott Speed in the 95. Robbie Gordon in the 7. Denny Hamlin charging back and back. Out. Mears down pit lane. As more of the back markers continue to pit. See if any more of the, the lap cars are going to pit as well. Got until that is Trevor Bain in the 21, Eric Amarillo in the 43, getting on the pit road. Only four caution flags up to this point. Obviously, the Ricky Stenhouse crash, Dylan Merwin, and Carl Edwards getting into the wall in two. Getting together. That was yellow flag number four. Third yellow was obviously the Stenhouse. Obviously, not the. Uh, so four cautions. Ambrose comes off pit road. And down pit road, Mears comes off. Bill Murray muscling the 27 of Paul Menard out of the way. Bill Murray trying to nudge Stenhouse up the track. Oh, and around goes Stewart. Caution. Just, oof, trying to, what was he doing? Gets into Dylan, and up in the wall he goes. Like he was trying to get up, touch the 25, around he went. Okay, 
add some tape. Then we lead to another possibly interesting restart because we're getting to 20 to go and on a short track that's narrow like this, it's gonna you're gonna see some bumpers on this on these next restarts. Because anytime you say, oh we're gonna have one restart, there's probably a 90% chance that you're wrong. Wrong like AOC. Martin Trucks and Kyle Busch have stayed out on this caution. Dylan Murway on back, pitted, with the exception of Tony Stewart, who's in the wave around group, but he was the reason for the caution. So, there we go. Martin Truex, Dylan Murray on the f and Kyle Busch on the front row. And they make the tires last. Truex with a great start. Oh, he uses him up. Three, four, almost five wide. Somehow they pulled it off. Johnson way down on the apron. He could take the lead going into the three, force Dylan Murray way up to the outside. Dylan Murray in the middle of all this. And, oh, he just turns them. Yeah, they knew three wide here wasn't going to work. Three wide here almost never works. Especially when they had a car in the corner and you got a guy on old tires and you got a car that several cars that end up jumped. How about Bobby Labonte up in 13th? Another restart. Newman charging his way in on the middle lane. He gets, he holds it off, holds him off. Dylan Murway, Jimmy Johnson, and Kevin Harvick are the top three as they continue to move, fight their way through. Here comes Carl Edwards, and sure he probably has a score to settle with that bright yellow 25 car. As Dylan Murray nudges Kevin Harvick out of the way for second. Let's go to the bumper cam. So which I'm surprised is still on the car. Dylan Roy right by the 48. Could he charge in? Oh, he uses him up. There. It's trying to test him, I guess. Dylan Roy barely leads that lap over Jimmy Johnson. Johnson's able to make that outside work as Dylan Roy holds right with that bumper. As he, oh, oh, almost, yeah, he just ran Jimmy to the wall. Harvick takes the lead. There's Carl Edwards in second. I bet you Jimmy's going to probably have a beeline for that 25 car. You got two more weeks to do it, though, to pay a guy back if you want. Kevin Harvick, Carl Edwards, 1-2. They call him Concrete Carl because he typically used to dominate on concrete tracks, including winning Bristol in 2007 and 2008. And Dover as well in 2007 and 2008. Both of them to follow him. 12 to go. Dylan Murray and Carl Edwards fight for second. Kevin Harvick is loving every bit of it. Could he get Reem their first wins, first Sprint Cup victory as a sponsor? Will we see another yellow? Judging by the way the 95 and 25 are going, bank on it. Ooh, 
Ooh, Del Marley getting a little squirrely there. Yeah, he's using. Yeah, he's used up that 95. As Del Murray finally gets rid of him, hopefully he can shake the traffic and maybe get to the 29 Harvick. Nine laps to go today at Martinsville. As Dilmerway continues to close that line and close up on Harvick, lap traffic definitely might play an issue, I'm feeling. If because this could, lap traffic could be the reason we have another yellow. We've had six yellows up to this point. A lot of green flag racing so far, which is fairly unusual for what I expected from a Martinsville race. Dylan Merwig trying to maybe look under Harvick, use Josh Wise as a pick. Neck and neck, Harvick leaves the gap open, they make contact. And charges in on Wise, three wide. Neck and neck, clear. Dylan Murway trying to put some distance between him and Kevin Harvick, maybe. As he's trying to hang his way around past the 98. Charging under the 27 Menard. And Trevor Baines around on the front stretch. Caution. Not the yellow they needed. Playing this like a short tracker, a true short track race. Staying out, no tires. Got Kevin Hart to the inside, the master of Martinville in row two. Man, we're going to probably see another yellow by the time this is over. I have a pretty good feeling. Three laps to go in scheduled distance. Kevin Harvick, Dylan Murray, lead him down. Johnson forces it and, and takes the lead. Could that be payback? I believe so. Dylan Murray trying to force it in, drives it in, takes out Jimmy Johnson, and we're going over time. There's a big mess. Looks on the inside. Ooh. Yeah, he short he shorted the short track. Sends Burton and Carl Edwards into the wall. So folks, we're going to overtime. Here. I have a feeling we're going to have more. More, probably use all the green light checkers at, at this rate. With the way this race has been. As we make their way down, attempt number one, the rules are you have three attempts. If you wreck before the right, the white, we will rack them up and do it again as many times as it takes. And judging by the way this race is gone in the second half, we're going to need to do it a lot. Do it, we're probably going to need more than three. However, if there's a wreck on the white flag, Race back no matter what. We're on the final attempt. 
So Kevin Harvick will be on the front row for this overtime restart. Twenty five cars will be on the lead lap. Here we go. Jay Muller charging in. Getting a couple spots from Danica. Wow, he charged in real deep that time, getting getting a few spots. Oh, and they're wrecking. Austin going to the wall and in the traffic. Comes in. Oof. It's an Austin Dillon and Jeff Burton crashes. Oof. Hard lick by Austin Dillon. Carl Edwards pits. So this means Kevin Harvick and Dale Jr., the same characters from the overtime from the finish in 2011, are on the front row. We're getting to 105 laps. Oh, boy. Dale Murray charges into turn one. There's another rack. Reagan and Smith are under the wall. Or, sorry, Reagan and Mark Martin. Reagan Smith charging on Hamlin. And another rack coming to the whites. We're two to go in the final green white checkered attempt. Comes into the wall. Oh, this is a whole bunch of cars to check out. So we're racing back regardless here, folks. David Reagan and Mark Martin slammed the wall. As you look through the rest of the order. Here we go. Kevin Harvick, Greg Biffle, Dale Jr., Sam Hornish, the top four. Final attempt. We're racing back regardless. So if there's a wreck, you better not get in it. Kevin Harvick escapes from the chaos. Dylan Murray trying to maybe move his way around. Going into one. Oh, we got one in the wall. Green Smith. Got tipped wide. As Kevin Harvick will come off turn four, he will see the white flag. Here at Texas, or sorry, here at Martinsville. Dale Jr. looking for redemption from Texas. Dylan Murray just muscled his way past Hornish. He might get them both here. Dylan charges it in. Gets into Harvick. Harvick up the track. And Kevin Harvick is going to win this race. Take a look at the unofficial results. Sam Hornish Jr. with another smart run in the 22 today. Kevin Harvick, Dylan Murway, Dale Jr., Sam Hornish, Greg Biffle, the top five. Ryan Newman, Matt Kenseth, Jamie McMurray, Jeff Burton, and Denny Hamlin at about the top ten. Another smart run for Danica Patrick. She runs and she ends up 15th after. A lot of crashing. Tony Stewart shuffled to 21st. Regan Smith, who is slow with two to go, ends up a lap down. Marcus Ambrose couldn't really get anything going in this race. Same with Paul Menard, Eric Amarola, and Trevor Bain. Yeah, we sent it in there. 
on uh, Har on Harvick in three. I was hoping to just charge in and hit him and get him loose on the curb. But uh what meant to be. Kevin Harvick wins the Goodies Fast Relief 500 at Martinsville. So see you Tuesday at 1 o'clock Eastern for the running of the Food City 500 from Bristol.